from Vanderbilt, three over on the day. This for birdie, and Amelia's down there. Take the birdies when you can get them, Karen, because we know opportunities won't always present themselves. As we watch Jackson Van Paris for birdie at 12, the individual champ in stroke play the first couple of days, but so far, a bit of a struggle. Yeah, looking to try and turn things around a little bit, things around a little bit, but... Tisha on the way at 11 for Vanderbilt's Cole Sherwood. He's going up against Peter Fountain from North Carolina. And he had a, you know, a really good, good round going yesterday too. Try to put a little pre pressure on his teammate there, but couldn't quite get the job done. But he's playing well. Moment to go at 18. Ida Plume from the Valley of Sin, her third. <laughs> what a round of golf. And to finish like that. That's exactly, you know, that's all you can do, really. Sometimes you just have to accept that you're not going to be able to get it as close as you want. Let's go back to Kayla Smith from North Carolina. Two over at the 16, tied with Ava Merrill. She had a two or three shot lead just a few holes ago. So this one tightening up as well. Oh, she was pretty close to the out of bounds post as well with her second shot. All right, let's go back to the green at 17. Natalia Asaginolata from North Carolina. She's seven over par. So if you're Claggett, just get in, <laughs> finish without making yes. a mess of anything. And you'll get another point for Vanderbilt. Well, it was what made that third shot for Claggett quite easy because she could just play out left and not worry. And again, if you're just joining us, medal match play. They go all the way to 18 and finish every single shot. Time now for the shot of the day presented by Top Golf. And we saw it about 10 minutes ago from the freshman out of the University of North Carolina, Ing Ida Plume in the Valley of Sin with her third at the last and finishes in style for a round of four under par 68. Pretty, Way to go. Pretty special day for Ian on the golf course, on the old course at St. Andrews. Smiles from ear to ear, and why wouldn't she? She's down with Amelia. Thank you, Burko. Ing, what an incredible round. Round of the day, four under 68. But first, we have to talk about that putt, which is the shot of the day, by the way. You got to see it in the clubhouse yeah. when you were signing your scorecard. Yeah. But walk us through that process of the putt and then the great result. Yeah, OK. So for the last putt, uh, I didn't have a second shot coming in. But it's a pretty hot putt. And all I was thinking about is just you know, trying to get close to the hole. If I pick a good lie, had a good putt, it's just going to take care of itself. And it went in. So. That's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> and it was an all around good putt, did uh, a little circle before it went yeah, in the hole. Know, yeah. And have you ever played in conditions like these? What was it like to play in wind and rain, but even more special to play on the old course at St. Andrews? Well, I never played anything like, like this before. Well, I'm from Thailand, so we don't really get a lot of wind, <laughs> a lot of rain. This is my first time at St. Andrew and first time playing in this condition as well. It's pretty tough out there. Um, well, I'm trying to put myself into a good spot and I had a good putt, which is I did. So I really enjoyed it so far. And it happened at St. Andrew, the old course. I mean, I could not ask for better. No, you really couldn't. Well, Ing, congratulations. Thank and we'll let you go warm up and then watch your team later. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for me. We'll send it back to 17. And remember how Ida Plume prepped. Big poofy jackets, yes. hotel room. <laughs> try to get acclimated with cold conditions as to the 18th very likely to win another point for the Commodores speaking of Vandy William Mall for Eagle at 14 trying to get to four under oh what a good try I mean those are two big shots to get onto that 14th into today with that wind direction at the fifth even though Vanderbilt on the women's side leading two to one Amelia you touched on it everything on this back half of the boards tar heel blue 
100%. I mean, right from the get-go, they were leading in the matches. And I think what's so cool about this medal play is, yeah, Kayla has a two-shot lead, but anything can happen. You end up in the Valley of Sin and you don't do what uh, Ing Edeplume did, then you, know, you have a three-putt and a birdie, and all of a sudden you tie the match and things get interesting. Kayla has so much power in this drive. A lot of club head speed. Good result. Yep. <laughs> All right, back one to 17 with Wells Williams. We're going to find out if front right is a theme and a game plan for the Commodores. Just inside of 200 yards. Okay, Scott Limbaugh might have had a little something to say about yeah. this last night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Gordon Sargent stressing, avoid bunkers at all costs. Oh. Don't have to be a hero with some of these shots. All right, so Greaser, try to squeeze in there, tap it in for his four. Setting the stage for Wells Williams. Birdie putt, shoot even par 72, would take down Greaser and get the clinching point for the Vanderbilt Commodores to win the team title. Now, this has been the scene in the past four or five holes. Coach and player studying every putt. Team looking on. If you want to see how one of your younger players will respond in big moments, no better opportunity than right here for Wells Williams. Oh, exactly. See their coach just giving him the, the little motion there that's going to break a little to the left. There you have it. I think he's got his answer. Williams and Vanderbilt, victorious in Scotland. Limbaugh has to be impressed with that. Think about what Ben Loomis did mm -hmm. early. Yep. Wells Williams, guys trying to carve out a spot in that normal yeah. top five. And they both show up in a very big way. That's why we love it. We've got Austin Greaser, almost oh. won a US amateur, part of the Walker oh. Cup team. Yep, experienced on this golf course. Up at 18, Keenan Poole, North Carolina, his second. Five behind William Mall playing the last. Part of the charm of this hole. <laughs> Absolutely. Like he gets to say, I, I played a shot from the Valley of Sin. It's been so special. Well, I, I think that you you look at yourself and think, I'm, I'm lucky to have this opportunity to go to one of these schools that have come here to play. Um, I've played some fabulous competition on, on these wonderful golf courses, including the old course, it, with all the history that goes with it. As, Did she do it in style? Oh, oh that's magnificent. And, you know, you're, you're playing golf that you don't normally play. 
She taps it in, and the Tar Heels triumph on the old course. Gets the job done, clinching point for North Carolina. Yeah, they're going to remember these moments forever. When, when they watch the Open next year and when they see players like Lilia Vu and Nelly Korda walk up this fairway and, and see that whole location, they're going to be like, I was right there and, and this is what I did. It's going to be so cool for them.